Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Preet Luman. I am the head of uh, Buildings Division in Nordecon, which is uh, one of the leading construction companies here in Estonia. And uh, I would like to speak about uh, a project that we just finished a month ago in Viljandi. It was a old Soviet-style uh, theater. It was uh, originally built in '75 and we renovated it uh, during the last year. Uh, the original architects of the building, Irina Raud and uh, Maid Sumadavet, were quite heavily involved in the renovation uh, project. Uh, uh, the total capacity of the building is about 10,000 square meters. Uh, the old main theater hall was renovated, which uh, is, uh, accounts for about 500 seating. And the new black box type of uh, theater hall was built uh, instead of the old uh, practice hall. Uh, the project itself uh, was uh, tendered in four parts. Riigi Kinnis Varakse Selts, which uh, is one of the biggest uh, public uh, house owners in Estonia, was the uh, one who orchestrated this process. Uh, uh, the first contract was the main contract, uh, which we won. Uh, second contract was about stage technology, new stage technology, which was won by a Netherlands company, Trekwerk. Uh, third part of the tendering process was uh, sound and video systems, which was uh, won by Telegroup, and the fourth was furniture. Uh, so we had uh, like the leading role in the project, but there were quite a lot of other stakeholders uh, at the project. Um, originally, we were actually third in the tendering process, but uh, uh, after some time, the other two tenders did not uh, uh, qualify for the project, so we were handed the project finally in February 2016, which was about six months after the tender. Um, so when we started, it was quite... Uh, cold and snowy, and the theater had been unattended for about half a year, so there were a few problems because of this. It was not heated, and uh, some of the equipment that was supposed to be uh, renovated was, not, uh, was so broken that it had to be built new. The most difficult part about this uh, build was that it was a reconstruction and all of the old facet bricks had to be demolished. Um, the amount of uh, new facet brickworks was about 5,000 square feet, so it was really time-consuming. And uh, mm. what I can say is that uh, the demolishing works uh, were almost as long as the building works. So I think uh, we ended the demolishing part at December 2016, like three months before grand opening. <coughs> so here you can see uh, the old uh, practice hall, which was uh, completely demolished, and a new black box type of uh, theater hall was built uh, instead of it. Um, here are some uh, old fuel tanks, which had to be taken out uh, because the new building was uh, centrally heated. Um, here you can see some more brickworks. Uh, mm. The amount of the work was really, really large, and it uh, took us, uh, I guess, four months or five months to get all of the old brickwork down, and then we were able to start with the new work. And as the brickwork was so badly done, um, the first question that uh, arose was uh, what to do with this uh, wall. Uh, because it was, uh, in the original project, we had to put uh, uh, stiff uh, uh, insulation onto the wall. But that was not possible, as the brickwork was not uh, straight enough. So we had to do it in two layers, uh, six centimeters all together, which is not a lot of uh, insulation, it's quite little. But because this uh, building is a national heritage or cultural heritage site, Insulation was not the main uh, main driver of this project, 
architecture was the main driver. So uh, it is not very energy efficient, but, uh, but this was not the, the prime goal. Uh, here you can see that we had to build uh, these uh, uh, sections to sort out the correct color of the mortar. Because for architect, it was very important that the color of the mortar is exactly right. So a right mix was needed. So we built quite a few of these uh, um, sections before we could start any work. And this was actually the case with uh, many, many works that you had to build like a small section, then the architect looks at it, then you can build the whole wall or whatever. <clears throat> Here you can see that some of the walls were completely there down. Here you can see this is a steel structure. So it was not necessary to keep the brick walls. We were able to build a new uh, thermoprofile facades here. Um, so the heating insulation properties were better. But still, there's a problem here. You can see load-bearing uh, structures, which were, we were unable to insulate uh, properly. Um, before uh, starting, uh, we had some tests done by Hilti to figure out what's the tensile strength of the anchors used uh, in the old brickworks. Uh, they used these uh, tests to calculate how often you have to have the, the anchors. And we used chemical anchors from Ilti. Here you can see the test being carried out. Here's the old revolving uh, stage of, uh, of Ugala. The problem here was that um, when the theater moved out, they took out all of the equipment. And of course, all of the fluids uh, from the hydraulic systems uh, were left on the floor, on the concrete floor uh, beneath this in, in the cellar. So we had to take everything out, build new concrete walls. Actually, the new structure that was built by the Netherlands company was a bit different. So a uh, new uh, foundation was needed in the center of the, of the um, revolve. And the problem here was that uh, the theater is located near the lake. So it was quite swampy uh, in the cellar. <coughs> Here you can see more work being carried out. Uh, another difficult or, or labor-intense part was the demolishing and, and building of the roofs, because uh, the old Soviet-type roofs had been fitted with the new roofing in 2000 or something like that. So everything had to go, and new roofs had to be built. And as the configuration of the building is very difficult, it has many different stages, so it was one part, then another part, then another part, and you had to do all the brickwork before. So in order to get the um, building completely watertight, it took maybe almost a year. Not, not a year, but six, eight to ten months. So this was uh, quite problematic for us because we were unable to start the uh, interior finishing works early enough. <coughs> Here you can just see the amount of work, uh, especially the amount of brickwork. Here's another example. Finding a worker for this uh, brickwork was also quite difficult because uh, uh, this kind of work is not something they would like to do. They would like to do simple houses where the work is easy. This is not easy, it's uh, uh, quite hard. Here you can see the old Soviet-style uh, suspended ceilings, which was, were actually kept intact. We just uh, took out all of the piping, all pipe, old piping, and put in new piping. And uh, this wall was completely demolished because, as you can see here, some sunlight. So this was not very airtight. <coughs> um, as is the theater building. We had some, quite, a, quite some public interest in, in, in the build. And here you can see some kind of uh, uh, theater taking place. So we had to close down the works for a day or two days and then 
give it up to the theater. They did some performances, and then we would continue with our work. <coughs> Here's the carrying system for, for the new facade bricks. And um, here you can see the old, uh, old practice hall, which was completely rebuilt to be a new black box theater. Uh, the old Soviet style uh, uh, steel roof was taken apart because we needed more height for the new, new black box type of theater. So a new concrete uh, ceiling was built. Um, here you can see compensation air pipes for smoke remo removal. Uh, as, the, uh, as the building is quite well seen from, from hilltops around, the architect had uh, this kind of like uh, necessity that uh, nothing can be on the roofs. So all of the smoke removal pipes and all of the compensation air pipes had to be carried away from the building and had to be hidden so that uh, architecturally nothing is seen. And here you can see new, new roofing. This was actually the only part where we could use uh, like decent amount of uh, insulation materials. <coughs> All of the glass facades were built new. All of the windows, here are the wardrobe part of, uh, of the theater which had new wooden windows. Uh, um, another problem was that the uh, winter came quite early in, in October this year. So this is something that uh, slowed us down for a while. Uh, luckily, it uh, went away as quickly as it came. <coughs> Here you can see new black box, co black box concrete flooring. Uh, which was covered with OSP plating and uh, on the OSP we glued uh, these uh, wooden uh, floorboards. The idea of this is that uh, because wood plays so much with uh, uh, temperature and with air uh, um, humidity uh, to minimize this effect, we glued everything on OSP board and uh, it doesn't cost that much more because OSP board is quite cheap, but the result, end result is a lot better. And here you can actually see the, the new revolve, main revolve being built. Uh, here in the center is the new foundation for the, the main revolve. You can see the, here will be one column which also supports the revolve and uh, most of the support comes from here. So the Netherlands company installed all these new uh, steel uh, works uh, to carry this uh, revolve. And all of the concrete faults were redone. <coughs> uh, here you can see the main visitors area, which was uh, basically left the same, only new paint, uh, some uh, minor repairs, and, and of course, uh, preparation for new uh, carpets. And the heating systems, which you can see here, were also changed for new ones. Um, here's the revolve built. Uh, it was actually, mm -hmm. the revolve was built in Netherlands. It was taken, installed together, then tested thoroughly, then they can pack apart, put on the ship, ship to the site, and then put all together again. And it took about uh, four weeks for them to put this revolve together. It has a lot of steel parts. It has two elevators in it and, and so on. So this is quite, quite an expensive piece of equipment which takes quite a lot of time and has to be really, really uh, well done because when it revolves, it cannot uh, have any, um, almost no, no, like, uh, uh, it has to be really tight. And here you can see it uh, almost finished uh, with the main frames. Uh, here you can see the, the wooden wall floor being built on it. So if, after finishing this revolve, then we could level it. 
uh, and then start building the wooden floor. Here is another example of a wooden floor. This is uh, actually uh, a hall where they uh, paint the decorations for, for theater. So they have uh, all the woodworks, all the metalworks in-house. They build all of the decorations basically in their theater. Uh, <coughs> Here you can see that the old lightings, that, which were actually made of mortar, were uh, all kept in place. They were renovated and new uh, dry board uh, suspended ceilings were built around them. These uh, walls all stayed the original. Uh, these posts stayed the original, they were just painted. Um, here you can see the amount of uh, electrical works that goes underneath the stage. It's uh, really staggering. And uh, this is basically all of the winches that you can uh, put decorations on. And this is the bridges for lighting. So there are about, there are about uh, 30 winches in place to move everything. And all of these winches are also uh, imported from Netherlands by Trekwerk. And they are all, uh, the tower is quite high, it's maybe 20, 25 meters. And all of these uh, winches are located in the top of the building. They are mounted to the original walls uh, with new steel frames, because uh, during the Soviet time, as the motors produced so much noise, all of the winches were underneath the, the floors in the cellar. But now everything is uh, in top. <coughs> Here you can see the, the wardrobe uh, with new uh, stone tiles. And this is uh, the main stage uh, uh, wood flooring being glued to plywood. So uh, the reason for this is the same as in black box to minimize the effect of uh, wood playing. <coughs> this is the new black box uh, hall. All of these panels were pre-made and then fitted into in place. There's uh, wool for sound insulation. Um, this is the new um, lift for handicapped people so that they can get into the main theater hall, which was a problem before. Here you can see the, the revolved states being sold out. So after all of the wo uh, wooden floors were done, everything was sold out uh, and then you could uh, try out the revolving stage. Um, as for the main hall is concerned, quite a lot of uh, uh, what you see in the main hall is uh, exactly the same. Nothing has been done to it. So these uh, walls, which were uh, just cleaned, nothing. The, the old Soviet walls they stayed, it was only cleaned. Uh, all of the woodwork here was original. Only carpets were changed and uh, uh, new um, this um, a system for people who don't hear so well was put in place so to have like this uh, um, and here you can see the revolving stores being uh, thoroughly cut out and after they were cut out they tested it for about a week to see that everything works correctly and after that it was all painted Outside, a new glass roof was, uh, was added for the cafeteria for summertime. It was not in the original project, but uh, the theater wanted it so that they can have uh, uh, events in the summer in the cafeteria. <coughs> this is actually the, a new cafeteria that was built in the ground floor. Uh, in the original building, quite a lot of uh, ground floor floor was unused. So during the renovation, we built quite a few new concrete uh, uh, floors on the ground. Uh, and uh, so the theater was able to get uh, more space. And some of this space was used to build a new cafeteria and, uh, and also a new 
like small hall for for different events. Here you can see the the main entrance square, which was completely redone. Uh, the new balcony, and um, as the commissioning part of this build was uh, almost no, non-existent, so after we finished everything, the theaters just started. So during the last uh, three or four weeks, uh, the theater already started to build decorations on the on the stage so that they could uh, start with. Uh, with uh, this, like, uh, to take the building say, into use as soon as possible. <coughs> so here you can see the old, uh, what they call light clouds being installed. This uh, was uh, left uh, basically original. Only the sockets were changed and the electrical works were changed, but uh, uh, lighting itself is uh, old, so it was just cleaned and uh, put back together. And this is uh, as it was in original time. And uh, Mait Sumatavet, who's the interior architect, uh, personally saw to it that it, it, it is as, it, as it's supposed to be. <coughs> Here you can see the new seating being arranged uh, to the hall. And... Um, in the wardrobe, uh, uh, the wardrobe equipment uh, also was just renovated. So all of these were renovated and just uh, new furniture was put in. So it looks as it was supposed to look in, in 75. <coughs> Here you can see the lift working. Um, this had to be like minimally seen so that it doesn't stick out. That's why it's uh, fitted with carpets, and if it's uh, on the floor, you can barely see it. And uh, also, the original artwork was, uh, was refitted. And here you can see the end result. So the wardrobe, uh, this is the new uh, cafeteria in the cellar with uh, this uh, specially made uh, lighting, light wall. Here you can see the light clouds, uh, the new theater area. So as I said, this was completely left old. This was old, just painted. So all the roof, roofs had to be taken apart when it was no rain, just not ruin it. And um, here you can see the new or, or the old uh, renovated second floor cafeteria. Uh, with original chairs, or original light chairs. <coughs> and this is, uh, this is the end result. So the, base, the most important parts of this build were, were all the brickworks. The amount of it was just staggering. All the roof works, because it's, it has so many different levels. And you have to build the brickwork, then you can put the roof together. So this is something that takes a lot of time. So, for conclusion, the brickwork w was a large, large, large problem for this building. Uh, the energy efficiency is not really good, uh, but that was not the point. The point was to keep it as close to original as possible. So we had to build a lot of new foundations. Some of the walls were decided to be de demolished altogether because they were in such bad shape. So. If they were not loot bearing, we look about build new wall sections. If you consider renovation projects, then something that you need to have, you need to have good designers because uh, you're going to have surprises. And when you have surprises, you need new design works that uh, take into effect what was originally built. And this has to be produced quite quickly so that you can carry on with the works. This, this, the time schedule of this build was quite intense because uh, all of the interior finishing works were done in three months time, with, which is quite short. 
uh, and the amount of uh, work uh, to be carried out was, was very large. So I think in, in there were maybe 250 workers at time on site, which is quite a lot in, for Estonia. <coughs> and that's it. Thank you. If anybody has questions. Thank you, Breed. <clears throat> we are open for any questions now. If you just have any questions, yeah, raise your hand like this. <laughs> Shall I have a microphone? Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> thank you for your uh, thank you for your presentation. It was very interesting. I was wondering if you had any trouble with hazardous substances such as asbestos or mold and microbes. Uh, there was some asbestos, as some of the old uh, roofing was built with asbestos tiles, but uh, not much. If you take Soviet uh, buildings, then the, the biggest problem is, is if uh, piping insulation is done with asbestos. That's, that's the really like, nasty stuff. Uh, this was not the case in Ugala, but yes, some of the roofing which you took out and built new one was done with asbestos tiles. So yeah, there was some. But uh, otherwise, no, no problems. And of course, the, the uh, liquid uh, from the hydraulic system. That was also what we had to like. Do we have any more questions? Uh, OK, back there. Can I ask in Estonia also because my English? Yeah, sure. Mu küsimus on see, et tihti tuleb üllatuse, mis on vaja renoveerida. Et kui paljud oma projektis ette nagu panite sisse ka seda, et, et sealt võib tulla üllatus, et seinad, mis peavad olema isolatsiooniga, tegelikult ei ole. Ja, et kuidas nagu ettevõtte valmistub selle jaoks, et sa lähed nagu renoveerima üllatust mõnikord? <laughs> so the question was that how do you take account uh, like different surprises you're going to find in the project? How do you calculate for it and how do you prepare for it? Uh, the answer is it depends on, on the contract. If the risk is on the, on the owner's side, then, then it's their risk. If it's on your risk, then of course you have to take into account the amount of extra work you're going to have. Because in every renovation, basically, you're going to have extra work which is not uh, seen before. So someone has to take into account. but. Uh, who takes it into account depends on the contract. And how was this time? Uh, this was mostly, mostly not our risk. I will uh, also point out that we have an app today actually working. Uh, <laughs> so if you do not want to uh, ask openly questions, you can post them on uh, sli dot do. It's S L I dot D and O. And I will ask some, let's say, anonymous questions that the audience has. <clears throat> How long do you think this building will last before it will need a new renovation? Hard to say. Twenty years, thirty years. It depends on it depends how the technology involves it, it depends on everything. It's difficult to say. The concrete will last 50 years, no problem. But, uh, but I think uh, the main point is technology and, and how the technology, technology change will... Uh, Building systems yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and so on. Yes. Uh, <laughs> another question, uh, construction-wise, uh, what would have you done differently if the, there wouldn't have been so many strict rules? <laughs> to, pull it, to pull it all down and build a new one? Or? Well, if you ask me personally, I would have built a new building, of course, but uh, this was not the case, this was not my decision to make, so... Yeah. <coughs> okay, uh, also one more question from the audience. Uh, did you use uh, BIM during the process? No, no, no. It was not used. And uh, we didn't have time for it because uh, if it were the case, then the owner should have used it in the planning process or in design work. But uh, as the architects were original architects, so 
no pain. I will <laughs> take the opportunity and ask some questions myself as well. Yeah, uh, okay. How many men actually were there working with a facade? I, I mean, the, with the brickwork, you don't know. Uh, no, but I don't give know. it a guess. A lot of, more than 100, I would guess. So that's, that's quite a lot, like, okay. like but, an but army. But they changed. So at, at one point there were maybe 30, 40 men at, at the most intense point, but uh, the, the rollover was quite high, so yeah, I think 100 is a fair guess. People got tired. Yes, people got tired. And uh, <laughs> a personal question as well, like, uh, what kind of feeling do you have now if you go and visit this theater? Like, is it like a good feeling? Yeah, it's a good feeling. feeling? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's a good feeling. I think the, the end result was uh, really good and, and uh, yeah. I visited it once already, so I like it a lot, yeah. And I recommend you all visit it. Okay, thank you again. Do we have any more questions from the audience? If not, then uh, we will thank you, Preet. Thank you. Uh, and on, the, on behalf of the... Super, thank you.